Okay, this feels like a nostalgia at its finest. So to quickly preface this video, I know you're here for the settings. When this game first came out, it was an absolute mess, completely unplayable. I've got a decent PC and I still couldn't live stream anything or record anything using OBS. I had to do everything through shadow play, which absolutely sucked. Since then, Bethesda have added so many patches and updates to the game, including DLSS support. If you want an example of how things used to look, the clip that is on the screen now, that's what I used to get when trying to record things. This clip playing right now is what you will get with the settings I'm about to show you. The game actually works now and I think I'm finally going to do an overdue let's play of Starfield on the channel over the next couple of weeks. Subscribe for whenever I go live or when the videos go out. So here we go. Open up settings and then one thing to note before we jump into the display settings is they've actually introduced uh, FOV settings which was a very highly requested feature as well as toggling iron sights and things like that and large font menus. There's a bunch of other updates. I figured seeing as a lot of people were asking for those they're there. So when you go into display settings, this is a quick rundown of everything we've got going on. Starting with everything at the top, we've got the borderless full screen window. I've tested pretty much all of these quite extensively and I feel like the settings that I've got now are just a mix of the best visuals and the best performance that you could possibly get, averaging between 50 to 60 FPS. Render resolution scale, I've got that at a bare minimum all the way down to 72%. Uh, brightness is 2.4 contrast, you know, that's completely up to you and your monitor. And then we start getting into the juicy stuff. So graphic settings are set to custom, naturally, because it automatically changes when you toggle things. Anyway, shadow quality is set to medium. This one impacts the game a lot. So if you're still getting weird frames, maybe consider dropping this down. But bear in mind, shadows are something that really makes the game pop. So keep an eye on this one. You may want to change that in the future. Indirect lighting is set to ultra. For me, I can bump this all the way up and I still get decent performance, which is nice. Reflections set to high. Particle quality set to medium. Volumetric lighting is set to high. But again, if you're in a wide open space or exploring a planet, maybe your frames are dropping a little bit, bring that one down to medium or low if you can. Crowd density is medium, but again, that's just a bit of a preference for me. You could probably bump that up all the way up to high, but with New Atlantis being the only major settlement and you're only really there to sell things, I don't see the point in bumping that all the way up. Motion blur, I actually really enjoy in video games. I'm one of the very few people that does, I think. Uh, so I've got that set to medium. GTA O quality is set to high. Again, I'm still figuring out what all this stuff does, but playing with this, I found can impact your game a lot. So keep that set to high for now. Grass quality is at high. Contact shadows are medium. V-Sync has to be off in order for DLSS to actually work properly. There is an option to use FSR2. It's better than without upscaling, but it's nowhere near what DLSS can give you. So that is why I run with DLSS as it is. And then the DLSS setting I've got set to auto. Now the NVIDIA reflex low latency, I think maybe if you were doing like an online FPS, use it. But for me personally, I prefer just keeping it off. It's not like you're really playing a competitive game. The bots in Starfield are pretty easy to take down as it is. Sharpening is entirely up to you. I don't think it has much of an impact on performance, but I've got mine set to 40%. VRS is on. Film grain intensity is set to zero. And enable depth of field is on. This one can have a bit of an impact. So again, toggle it if you're struggling. I remember when I made my first set of videos and I had to turn off the depth of field, particularly in the first mission, because it was just destroying my PC. So there we have it. The biggest factor for me is the fact that I can now record through OBS, which means I can make Let's Plays, and of course I can stream from OBS, which was impossible when the game first released. Now, one thing before we wrap up, I did mention this in my original video, but if for some reason the gameplay works fine, but recording seems a little bit weird, I recommend NVIDIA Shadow Play. Just pop this guy open right here, and then not only do you have the instant replay, which is like a replay buffer, it captures the last 30 seconds of your game, which you can use to make clips, but you also have a native record and a live streaming function, although the live stream kind of sucks. But using this record method is so much better in my opinion. I can normally run this and OBS at the same time, and this will have far less of an impact than OBS itself. So give that a try if you're having any issues. But for now, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. And like I said, subscribe because we're actually going to be playing through Starfield very soon. I love your faces, you're amazing, you're beautiful. I will catch you in the next one.